State. <coughs> Excuse me, folks. I'm Larry Pesavento for a mid-morning update. Not much happening today. Rather quiet markets. The only markets that are red, folks, are the energy markets. And the rest thing is all green everywhere. We got the Dow Jones up close to 600 points, I believe. The S&P's up about 50. The NASDAQ up uh, well over, uh, well, last time I checked, it was almost 200 higher. Could be wrong on that one. But uh, anyway, everything is very, very, very uh, uh, exciting here today on Election Day of 2022. I'd like to bring to your attention the election of 2000 and. Um, what was it, 2016? Uh, that You know what I've got to do? I'm going to do something a little differently right now just to make it, just to, to remind you folks what you're looking at here because let's get this up here and take a quick look at it. Uh, I want to get this up here. Here's where we were, and I believe I happen to be involved in this, folks. That's why I remember it so well. Uh, Rich Anderson will be my guest and on my show today, but here is the chart of where we were in 2016. You'll see there in November, uh, never, November the 8th, I believe it was, of 2016. The market was limit down in the in the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It was down, I believe, 900 points, I, as I recall. It was setting exactly at the 382 of the low that we had made in the previous year. You can see that just absolutely perfect to the tick. And of course, at the end of the night, uh, we had been down limit, and we were actually slightly up on the day. And boy, anybody that didn't think that was bullish should have really reevaluate because the Dow was trading uh, roughly at 20,000 and something at that time. And of course, from there we went up to, uh, you know, quite a bit higher than that. Uh, well, doubled at least. Anyway, so that's what we're watching here today. Remember, this is very emotional time for everything uh, here in Arizona. Uh, there was a very, very long line of people uh, waiting to vote today. And I don't know if that's the case anywhere. But remember, to vote early, in that way you can vote often. That's what they used to say in Indiana. And believe it or not, it was true. So anyway, we're going to have some fun tomorrow when we get the election results. They probably won't come in until February, but who knows? No matter what happens, folks, we're going to survive. We've survived for 247 years, and I'll be God darned if we're going to give up now. So it don't make no difference where we're going. We're going to be here tomorrow. 